Hi guys, welcome to my first YouTube video. So first I'm going to start off with the Smith's Minted Rose Lip Balm. And I spread that all over my lips. It really helps to moisturize my lips while I'm getting my makeup ready. Next I am going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. That is a mouthful. Oh yeah, that. Okay, rub it on in. <laughs> this really keeps my skin matte. I am really oily. So I put this in, I'll put this on, it helps fill in pores, and as you can see, you've got a white cast. So next, we are going on to the Anastasia Brow Definer in Dark Brown. I really like this eyebrow pencil. I like the formulation of it. Um, it the shape is pretty much there, so I just kind of fill in my natural hair, it's just kind of following the line, using very short strokes, and um, if you do this, it will mimic the natural hairs of your eyebrows. So go ahead and do that, get a flawless finish. I use the spoolie on the other side and that pretty much helps to run the product through. Next, I will be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toast. I use this concealer, it's really inexpensive, maybe two, two, three dollars. Um, I put that on there, it, kept, it helps to etch out the brow. Uh, use this, it does dry pretty fast, so ooh, yeah. <laughs> There I'm using some Fix Plus with my Beauty Blender to help blend it out. Next I am going on to my Sigma Flat Devi Definer brush in, let's see this is E15. I use this to help sharpen up the brow um, and to help blend out any um, excess brow hairs that may kind of stick out. It kind of helps put them in place. Yeah, that was the wrong, <laughs> wrong one. Those things are everywhere so I'm going back to toes outlining the top of the brow and this further defines the brow. I kind of really wanted to put in here how I do my brows because I do get a lot of questions on how I do my brows so I'm speeding through it but at the same time I just kind of still wanted to, sh to show the technique that I use so yeah it actually turned out pretty good I really like it and um, I kind of like a fuller brow now I used to go real thin so I kind of like a fuller brow right now so I'm using that beauty blender to blend it all in. Next I'm using the MAC Skin Mineralized Skin Finished in Deep Dark. Say that three times if you can. I'm using that with the Sedona Lace Brush which is in the number 217. Next I am moving on to, um, what is this? This is the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I use that to pretty much help find my lid. I'm going in with that Sedona Lace Brush again. I'm packing on that primer. You can see the other eye is already done. It's going to make that green like really, really, really look green. So I finished that up and then I am going to go into, um, let's see, what am I using? Uh, I think I'm still using the, yeah, I still, I'm still priming my lid. <laughs> I, here, let's see, here I am using the do, do, Laura Mercier finishing translucent translucent then <laughs> uh, I cannot talk tonight translucent finishing powder and I am using that all over my lid to help it get ready for all these shadows I am going to that color right there which is the makeup geeks cocoa bear makeup geeks cocoa bear and I'm using that to as a transition color it's a really warm reddish brown color and if you look I, you can see that I'm kind of the, the brow kind of etches out going into the Nubia 2 palette from Juvia's Place going to pick up Morocco and it's a pretty orange color I'm going to also use Juvia's Place blending brush in J15 and I'm going to further put that into the crease and help, help warm up the brow a little bit more or the eye I really like this color. It's really concentrated, um, very pigmented. It blends like a dream. You have to have this palette. It's just so pretty. Very pretty. So next I am going into that green color there, which I believe is called Egypt. I'm going to use um, what else? some more MAC Fix Plus. Yeah, that got all over my mirror. <laughs> And I'm going to use that Max Fix Plus like I just did, and it's going to help intensify that green, kind of bring out some of the metallics in the green. Very pretty color. I really like it. Going back in with the, um, well, what is that? E, I was a, that was an E40 that I used to kind of blend out the edges. So I just dipped into that brown in the Juvia's, Juvia's, Juvia's Place palette. I believe that is the color 
Egypt and I'm using that to kind of smoke out the outer corner or the outer third of my eye. Um, I think some of that fell in my lap. So I'm going in with that Juvia's Place blending brush. Their brushes are pretty good too. I really like them. I'm like a brush fiend. I don't know. Next I'm going in with that black from Makeup Geek and that is in the color Corrupt. And I'm just going to use that to help darken up the crease. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend that in in circular motions and then I kind of pull the color forward or towards the inner corner of my eye. So yeah, using both of those blend and then add that little pop of color on the end. It's not really color so it's black so. But in any case, use that. <laughs> This is my first place, so I'm just kind of all over the place. So I'm going back into that uh, Juvia's Place palette, and I'm going to pick up that um, goldish color, which is Nairobi, I believe. I'm going to put that into the inner corner of my eye. It really helps to kind of brighten the eyes. Makes the see. Ugh, that's my son. He didn't even want anything. Why do kids do that? Just, ugh, I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, back to my happy place. He just, yeah. Ooh, so, yeah. <laughs> so I'm using a Makeup Geek brush, pencil brush. And I'm using that to add that green color, which is, um, I think that was Egypt. I'm using that to go under the rim of my eye to kind of bring the color down. Next, I am using the MAC Black Eyeliner in Feline. And this eyeliner, it's really creamy. It stays put. I really like it. I don't have to, I, th with this, I really don't have to set it. It just, you put it on and it stays. It doesn't run down and have you looking like Count Dracula or a raccoon <laughs> by the end of the night. So I definitely suggest it. Going in with the Sigma pencil brush to kind of smoke it out a little bit and also to help blend that with, I believe I'm using Morocco to kind of blend that. <coughs> Excuse me. Next going in with the NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner in black. This wing, oh, I had to fast forward. This wing just kind of took me about, I don't know, it felt like seven minutes. And that's a long time in TV land, like seven minutes. But I couldn't get it right. I wanted to make sure that the wings were pretty symmetrical. You keep doing this and before long, your whole eye is like a wing. You just keep going and going and going and going. <laughs> and so you look back and go, oh, okay, that's that was a little too much. So you'll see me keep looking back to make sure that the lines are even and then that the sharpness is there. So yeah, it was a good wing day. <laughs> Next, I am using the falsies and these are the Coco Lashes by, um, no, these are the Goddess Lashes by Coco. Going in with the Better Than Sex Mascara to prime my eyes for the falsies. I always do this, kind of mix the eyeshadow, or your eye, um, your eye, what can I talk? <laughs> your eyelashes black. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put those falsies on. Oh God, I was so bad. And I'm not the greatest at putting, um, I'm not the greatest at putting falsies on, but like, I'm not gluing my lid shut anymore. <laughs> Yeah, not gluing my lid shut. So I've come a long way. That works. I've got it on. I can blink. I can see. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with the Ella Girl Pro Concealer in the color orange. And I am going to use this to uh, neutralize or color correct the dark areas of my face. That's a breakout. So I'm just going to go ahead and get those neutralized and kind of get them blended in. I really like this product. It blends, it really blends in well. I mean, you can see once I start blending, it just kind of fades into my skin. I'm of a deeper skin tone, so uh, yeah, like Warrior Bride. Deeper skin tone, so um, using this orange to correct my dark areas is the perfect choice for me. So going back in with my Beauty Blender, and oh, it is damp, just to, you know, make sure that it is damp when you're using these products. Um, blending that out, and as you can already see, the, the dark marks are already starting to fade away. So after that, I will be using the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Idol A. I don't know how to say that. I think that's Idol A. You can Google it and see how you say that. But I think it's Idol A. Okay, stop. <laughs> anyway, I'm in the five, uh, color 540 suede. And I'm using the Juvia's Place uh, Flat 
buffer brush. I think that's a J103 brush. I really like it. It works pretty good. Um, also going back in, after every time I use a brush, I always go back in with my beauty blender to kind of blend everything and make sure it's seamless. Next I'm going to be going in with my NARS Creamy Radiate Concealer and I am using the color Amande to highlight. So yeah, highlight under the eyes, uh, down the bridge of the nose, forehead, keep your bow, uh, chin. These are places usually the sun would naturally hit in your face so it does make it a little bit more um, make sure pictures look pretty. Um, there's, I don't have any flashback when I use it because um, I will usually go in and blend it out. I blend it out really good so that you don't get any flashback. So you can see I'm just blending it into my skin and pull, I'm bringing it down so you just get that whole white cast across your face. So usually what I do after I do this part, I'll go in with the, yeah this is a lot of blending and my battery started to die so I didn't get to film the whole look but I do believe I followed up with the Sasha, yep, the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Um, went ahead and used that to highlight and bake a little bit. But again, I, um, yeah, ah, there she is. I'm using the MAC Lip Pencil in Night Moth. This is a really, really pretty color, and I thought it went well with the green. I really like how it turned out. I'm just not glamorous putting on lip, lip uh, pencil. <laughs> Ladies, there are no rules to makeup. I am actually going back into this Juvia's Place palette and I'm picking up the color Sheba and I'm gonna use that to make my lips pop and make them a little bit more pouty. Make them look all pretty and like I said, all pouty. You put eyeshadow on your cheeks to highlight and your lips to just make it do what it do. Yeah, I think the whole look turned out pretty well. I really like it. Again, this is my first video. I appreciate you guys watching. I will be doing more. I am going to be getting the hang of it soon, so um, stay tuned for more. And thank you so much for watching.